The C June N terminal kinase, JNK, pathway is one of the major signaling cassettes of the mitogen activated protein kinase, MAPK, signaling pathway. It functions in the control of a number of cellular processes, including proliferation, embryonic development, and apoptosis. The pathway takes its name from the C June N terminal kinases 1 to 3, which are the MOPs that interact with the final effectors. The JNK pathway is activated by a bewildering number of mechanisms. This complexity is evident by the fact that there are 13 MOP kinase kinases responsible for feeding information into the JNK pathway. The JNK pathway can also be activated through G protein coupled receptors using G proteins such as G12 13. The mitogen activated protein kinase, MAPK, family of JNKs includes JNK1 and JNK2, which are ubiquitous, and JNK3, which is present primarily in the heart, brain, and testis. Differential splicing and exon use yield 10 isoforms of JNK. In the process, alternative splicing at the C terminus generates isoforms of 46 keta and 54 keta. Unlike JNK1 and JNK2 isoforms, the gene that encodes JNK3 is expressed only as the aform and contains an extended N terminal region. The JNK module plays an important role in apoptosis, inflammation, cytokine production, and metabolism. The JNK module is activated by environmental stresses, ionizing radiation, heat, oxidative stress, and DNA damage, and inflammatory cytokines, as well as growth factors, and signaling to the JNK module often involves the Rho family GT Pase CDC42 and RAC. Those receptors or receptor independent stress induced membranal changes further transmit the signals to adapter proteins that can by themselves activate kinases in the MAP4K, and sometime, MAPEX tiers of the JNK cascade. Next, the activated MAPEX transmit the signals to kinases at the MAPEX level, which are mainly MKK4 and MKK7. As the other MAPEX, the main JNK kinases, MKK4, MKK7, are activated by phosphorylation of the typical Serza alaza ser slash thr motif, SER 198, THR202 and MKK7, and are then able to transmit the signal further to the JNK level. Shortly after activation, like the other MOPs, JNKs translocate into the nucleus where they usually physically associate with their target's transcription factors such as C-June, ATF, ELK-1 and activate them. JNK pathway is generally a death signaling pathway. It controls the cell response to the harmful extracellular stimulus such as inflammatory cytokines, UV irradiation, gamma irradiation, etc. Cells under these harmful stimulus may have DNA mutation or damage. If the DNA damage could not be repaired immediately, the cell must be programmed to death to avoid these bad mutation or damage. JNK signaling pathway is such a death pathway that controls cell death. There are two main downstream signaling of JNK pathway, one is activation of death signaling such as C-June, FOS and apoptosis signaling such as BIM, BAD, BAX protein or active P53 transcription, to promote cell apoptosis, the other is inhibition of the cell survival signaling such as STATS and CREB. JNK can promote apoptosis by two distinct mechanisms. In the first mechanism targeted at the nuclear events, activated JNK translocates to the nucleus and transactivates C June and other target transcription factors, TF. JNK can promote apoptosis by increasing the expression of proaptotic genes through the transactivation of C June AP1 dependent or P53 73 protein dependent mechanisms. In pathways directed at mitochondrial aptotic proteins, activated JNK translocates to mitochondria. There, JNK can phosphorylate the BH3 only family of BCL2 proteins to antagonize the anti aptotic activity of BCL2 or BCLX cell. In addition, JNK can stimulate the release of cytochrome C from the mitochondrial inner membrane through a bid backs dependent mechanism, promoting the formation of apoptosomes consisting of cytochrome C, caspase 9, and APOF1. This complex initiates the activation of caspase 9 dependent caspase cascade. In another mechanism, JNK can promote the release of SMAC Diablo that can inhibit the TRAF2 IAP1 inhibitory complex, thereby relieving the inhibition on caspase 8 to initiate caspase activation. In addition, by phosphorylating BAD and its sequestering partner 1433, JNK can promote BAD mediated neutralization of the BCL2 family of anti aptotic proteins. Finally, JNK can phosphorylate BCL2 for suppressing its anti aptotic activity. To date, the reported JNK phosphatases are the dual specificity MKPs. 
MKP7 and VH5 are JNK phosphatases that also dephosphorylate P38 A and B. Other MKPs with some reported activity toward JNKs are DSP2, MKP6, MKP1, MKP2, MKP4 and MKP5. Though little is known about the phosphatases that act on upstream MAP2KS and MAPEX, the phosphoserin 3 anine protein phosphatase 5, PP5, was reported to suppress hypoxia induced ASK1 MEC4 JNK signaling. Just like the other MAP kinase signaling pathway, JNK pathway could also be regulated by the scaffold proteins. Five structurally distinct scaffold proteins have been shown to assemble the JNK signaling unit. These proteins contain a variety of protein interacting motifs and constitute a family normally referred to as JIPs. Scaffold proteins can tethering individual pathway components together, so that different pathways can be insulated from one another. This becomes particularly useful when single components are used alternatively in different pathways. Scaffold proteins can also establish connections between pathways and help to distribute signals. More recent modeling data suggests that depending on cellular conditions, spatial organization of kinases on scaffold proteins can either enhance or inhibit signal propagation through a kinase cascade. JNK is implicated in oncogenic transformation. A role for the JNK pathway in tumorigenesis is supported by the high levels of JNK activity found in several cancer cell lines. The most insightful evidence for a role of JNK slash SAC signaling modules in cancer has come from the identification of MKK4 as a putative tumor suppressor. MKK4 is a MKK capable of phosphorylating both JNKs and P38 MOPs. This distinguishes MKK4 from MKK7 which has only been shown to phosphorylate JNKs and not P38 MOPs. Genetic inactivation of the MKK4 gene on chromosome 17P has been reported for several different tumor types including a subset of breast, biliary and pancreatic carcinomas. JNK3 activation is a pro-aptotic pathway in hippocampal neurons. This is consistent with a role for JNK3 in excitotoxic neuronal cell death. The role of JNK3 in excitotoxicity suggested that JNK slash SAC pathways would be involved in other neuronal death responses and neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. That's all. Thank you. If you want to learn more, please load our website, www.creativediagnostics.com.